This is about to reveal how you guys can make money by selling NFT art on OpenSea.io, so let's get started. This video is going to be a practical guide, a step-by-step -step tutorial, so I'm not going to bore you with the technicalities. Instead, our focus will be aimed towards creating that NFT art, even if you're not a talented illustrator or graphic designer. And so, the very first thing you would have to do after connecting to OpenSea.io would be heading over to this section that says Create, because this is where the magic happens. This is where you can create a new item, but you will not be able to access it unless you've already connected your cryptocurrency wallet. Doing that is going to be really straightforward, but first and foremost, you gotta set it up. And you've got a bunch of different options. There you go. Most of these are Ethereum wallets, but you've got two Solana options as well. I'm talking about Phantom and Glow. And when it comes to Ethereum options, we've got Metamask, Coinbase, and a lot more. But for the sake of simplicity here, to keep things very straight to the point, I'm going for the most popular option, which is Metamask. Now, setting that up is going to be a piece of cake. All you gotta do is connect to metamask.io and download the Chrome extension in case you're using your laptop or your personal computer. But in case you're on mobile, you can also download the app on your iOS or Android device accordingly, depending on what type of device you have. Now, if you wanna use your laptop, adding the Chrome extension is gonna be effortless. All you gotta do is click on that button and then set up a free account. It will provide you with the secret phrase you have to copy and then paste in. But let me not waste your time with that because anybody that's ever used a personal computer can do it. Instead, let's get back to OpenSea.io for a second and let me connect my wallet. Now, once you're done with the boring stuff, this is where the magic happens and this is where you can create a new item. And here's the thing that most beginners overlook. It doesn't necessarily have to be a JPEG. It doesn't have to be a picture. You're allowed to upload all sorts of different formats, PNG, GIF, SVG, and so on and so forth. That means you can even create a video NFT or an audio NFT in case you're an artist or a 3D model, if that is your thing. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, you can turn it into a non-fungible token. We're gonna take full advantage of that as well. We're not just gonna stick to pictures here. We wanna go the extra mile and create something that is truly unique. Now, once that is out of the way, you also want to enter in a name. An external link might also come in handy because this is where you can present your project in great detail. You can create a presentation website using Google Sites or Wix or WordPress and use that in order to describe your NFT collection. Up next, you can also provide a very brief description here as well. And you can add it to a collection, but in order to take it one step further and make it even more special, you may want to add some properties, levels, stats in order to make it stand out from the crowd. Ultimately, you want to enter the number of items that can be minted, and this is with no gas cost to you. And finally, you want to select the blockchain that you want to go for. In my case, that's going to be Ethereum, but in case you want to save some of those gas fees that you would have to pay, you might want to go for Polygon. The other two options are Clayton and Solana, so I'm going to let you pick your favorite. I'm not going to force you to pick a certain one. But what about that design? How can we create that unique NFT that we can sell on OpenSea.io without necessarily being talented illustrators or content creators or graphic designers? I'm pretty sure that for some of you, creativity is a real struggle. It is for me at least. And so, can we find a way to create these sort of items that actually look good and attractive without a lot of talent? Well, definitely. The first tool we can make use of is called fodder.com and I want you to go over to their NFT creator. But a quick disclaimer here, this is not actually an NFT creator. This is just a tool that's going to apply a certain filter over your picture as you can spot. Now, it makes it look really cool and that's why we're gonna use it, but this is not an NFT just yet. It's still a picture. In order for that picture to become an NFT, it needs to be tokenized which can be done later on OpenSea.io and I'm about to walk you through it. But as you can see, this filter really makes a difference. It looks entirely different and it looks way cooler. So let's take advantage of it. But there is one more thing that people usually overlook and that is a shame really. When it comes to the footage you're gonna use for your NFT collection, you wanna make sure that everything is copyright free. I cannot stress this enough. Here's the thing guys, I'm pretty sure some of you may already be familiar with the term. This is a type of intellectual property that gives the owner the exclusive, exclusive right to copy, distribute, adapt, and do whatever they want with your creative work. This is an exclusive right again, which means that other people cannot do it. If you're looking to download a random picture of the internet and sell it for a profit, use it for commercial or advertising purposes, you are generally not allowed to do that legally. 
because you're stealing other people's work and you're taking advantage of it, you're exploiting it. In order to be on the safe side when it comes to this, you want to make sure that all of the footage you are using is entirely copyright free. And the easiest way you can get your hands on some copyright free footage would be by connecting to Pexos.com and this is a place that I typically use in order to grab stock footage for my videos. But the best part about it is that you can literally use it as a search engine. You can type in a certain keyword and that will filter the selection so that you can find relevant search results. And I think this picture right here is just perfect. So let's download it. Remember, these are not protected by any sort of copyright policy. They are basically in the public domain, which means that we can download them and then make any changes we want and then even reuse them for a profit. We can sell them. So let's do that. Once you've downloaded your copyright free picture, you want to head back over to photo.com and click on create an NFT now. And remember, applying this filter is not enough. You also want to tokenize that image. The best part about it is that you've got all of these different filters. So let, let me upload my picture and I'll be back in a second. And as you can see, this one looks much, much better. It even made George Washington smile. So I'm just going to increase the intensity to the maximum so that it looks really out of the ordinary, really cartoonish. And now there are a few different ways you can get rid of that watermark. One thing you can do is start your free trial. You don't have to pay anything for it. This is a free trial but you would have to enter in your billing details, such as your credit card credentials or your PayPal account. But in case you don't wanna do that, which I understand, you can just take a screenshot. However, you cannot keep the entire picture here, so you're just gonna have to keep a certain part of it. But I think that's good enough. For the sake of simplicity here, I'm just gonna do that. So let me grab my snipping tool. And there you go. And I think that will suffice at least for this example, right? We're just looking to illustrate the process and I'm pretty sure you can do a much better job. And at the end of the day, you can set up that free trial and you're good to go. But now guys, let me tell you something. If we head over to the Explorer section on OpenSea and we take a look at all of the NFTs they've got, we're gonna notice that some of these designs, at least the ones that are actually selling, are we cooler than ours? You can tell there was an entire graphic design team behind these projects. And there's been a lot of work that went into creating these designs. And for the reason, we need to find a way to make our project stand out. Otherwise, nobody is going to notice it. Unfortunately, in this case, a very basic design will not be enough. We want to go the extra mile and put in some effort. And the easiest way you can do it would be by creating a video NFT, such as this one or this one, instead of a simple JPEG. That is the easiest way you can make it more special. But you do not need any video editing skills because luckily, Canva allows us to add animations to our picture without much effort. Let me illustrate that right now. What I'm gonna do is click on create a design and then edit photo. This is over at canva.com. It's absolutely free to use. Then I'm gonna upload my NFT and let's edit it. And what I'm gonna do right now is really make that centerpiece stand out, literally. I've just taken a screenshot I'm going to place you right in the center. I'm pretty sure you can do a far better job in terms of that as well. As you can see, the outline is not the best. But what I'm gonna do up next is animate this little icon. You can just click on it, then select animate and pick one of these. That can be rise, pan, fade, pop. You're in full control here. You can even make it breathe or tumble. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna choose the pop one because I think that looks cool. Let me maximize it, make sure that everything looks good and we are good to go. And now, all I gotta do is click on the share button and download the final design on my device. By the way, this is absolutely free of charge. Everything we've done so far is absolutely free, remember that. Up next, you wanna head back over to the create feature on OpenSea and upload your final design. There you go. And this is what I came up with. Now, do not get me wrong, it is not the best design on Earth, but it's a pretty good one and it only took us about 5 minutes to create it, which is the best part which means that it is replicable. You can do this over and over again. Ideally, you also want to add a preview image and you can do that as well. There you go. Another mandatory step would be creating a name for your item. And once you've done that, you can move forward and create your NFT. There you go. All you gotta do is fill out this captcha and you're all set. This is it. Now I can share it with other people if I want to, and if I don't, I can still see it in my library here. There you go. But guys, there is one more thing we need to cover here. You see, the NFT has just been created and it's been listed. It's got a name, a preview, and everything. But people cannot buy it just yet. If you want to actually sell it for a profit on the marketplace, there is one more step you need to complete, so let me illustrate that as well. 
I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna select the sell option. And if I want to do that, I will have to select a fixed price or a timed auction depending on which approach I wanna take. But most significantly, I will have to pay a service fee and also a gas fee. So let's just say 0.1 Ethereum as a price. That is about $100. And let's complete the listing. If I want my listing to actually go live, if I want other people to see it and be able to purchase it, I'm gonna have to pay a fee that is worth about, well, let's see. In this case, it is $6. Again, this is a one-time gas fee. You will not have to pay it multiple times. You only need to pay it once and then you are good to go. But this is not absolutely free of charge, as you could tell. And by the way, OpenSea.io is not the only website that allows us to list items on the marketplace for other people to buy. Here's another option, rarible.com, and it is strikingly similar. All you gotta do is create a new account, link your Ethereum wallet, and you are all set. Guys, I generally think that anybody on Earth that's ever used a computer can create an NFT, but not everybody can sell it. You see, once you've listed your item on the marketplace, you also need to market it. You also need to promote it somehow. Because otherwise, why would people spend $100 on a random piece of art that they know nothing about? Unless you're a branded artist and people actually know you and you have a reputation, they're not gonna buy it. And this is where the difficult part comes into play. Once you've created the item, there is one more question left for you to answer, which is, how are you planning on promoting it? What most people do is that they create Discord servers and Twitter pages. They leverage all of these different social media platforms in order to do it, in order to get more traffic. And you might as well want to do that. But it is going to take some time. So if you're genuinely serious about it, you like the idea of NFTs and you want to dive deeper into the subject, there are a lot of things you can do. But you need to take it one step at a time. And at this point, you've got all the resources you need to create your very first NFT and list it on OpenSea.io. That's it for now and thanks for watching.